right, so um, yeah, um, you also can do um, a kind of an envelope thing. It's actually exactly the same thing, but so oh, I just grabbed pieces that have this about the same things, same size. Just gonna check which one is the shortest one. This one is the shortest, so I'm just gonna use this. All right, so um, yeah, it's it's almost the same thing. Making an envelope, which you also can add on. I think this is a nice size, but. Mm. Oh, I know a good one. I know a good one. Maybe with some expandable pocket envelope thing. So it's it's. Oh yes, that's that's a nice thing to do. Ah, yeah, I'm chaotic. I know. <laughs> All right. So this is my base. I'm not gonna give you measurements because you can you can grab. I'm just gonna show you how to do it without any measurements. All right, so I decided to go for this size. So I'm just gonna grab a, this is a kind of a leftover piece, but the only thing you need to make sure that you have enough. How much enough? I have no clue, but I'm not gonna gamble for it. So I'm just gonna grab a new page. The only thing that I do know is that I want this again, one inch longer so i'm just going to yeah measure this a little bit four one fourth is mine so i'm just going to cut this a five one fourth all right so cut it down okay so let's start with on one side our hinges we got them score three lines three score lines half inch one two three fold it grab a piece of paper and make it make a mark at the other side here we go and then we are going to start at that mark and again like it to have my stripes on my scoring board so now I have the first one yeah and I can move it up <laughs> and we're gonna make two more and then after the last one we can cut it down here we go all right so we have three half inch pieces so we're just going to fold first one the second one and the last one burnish it down yep so we have this it's a little m if you're going to see it this way it's a little m for mcdonald's <laughs> okay all right and then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side so if you watch it this then we have a double I call it double, oh my gosh, how do you call it in English? The M and the double, the we, the we, the, yeah, double, yeah. You know what I mean. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible, I knew. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> All right, so that is done. Let's see if it still fits. Yep, so I'm not gonna glue it down just yet. I'm only going to check where I want my bottom hinge. There we go. Here we go. Okay, we can cut the corners straight, not diagonal. And this one just a tiny, tiny bit. 
tiny little angle. So this is our hinge where we can attach whatever we want and then because at the end of course I am going to make an album with all those separate loose pieces. Alright so but this is our base. Cool isn't it? You can make an incision. That was the word that I was looking for before. <laughs> No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I need to make... Yeah, I bet that nobody gives me that idea. Why do I not make... Because I'm Dutch, guys. I am Dutch, I'm not English. Um, so the words are not getting in my mind permanent. But maybe it's a good idea to have some craft words. A nice list here on my front of me <laughs> for, for some words because I can't remember sometimes and then the next day I remember them perfectly but yeah I'm getting older <laughs> that's no excuse I'm not old <laughs> it just happened when you have some many thoughts then especially when you have that art even if you are talking in your own language it's sometimes it's difficult to to find the words that you are looking for. I bet everybody has that some point in their lives, or days or weeks, once a year, twice a year, every day, something like that. Anyways, so now we do need to make a nice back. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab another piece of paper. And that one is going to be exactly the same size as this one. It needs to be fit perfectly, not a little smaller. So I'm just going to make a mark and I'm going to cut it down. And then we are going to make this same as the other pockets. Oh, well, not that much, just. Well, I don't think that we even do need to make it larger. Let me start first with the hinge to close the nice envelope at the back. Alright. That's one. So this is going to be right here at the back. So cool. right under yep and then our accordion and then this all right i just love to dry test things out before i'm gonna glue it down all right so this is going to be right here at this spot yes perfect and then this needs to go with a lid. Maybe we can make it on the same thing. There was something. Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Let's do that. For, so you don't have to make a separate one. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Fingers crossed that it's still a good idea when I attach everything. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cut just a little tiny corner. Then I'm going to add some tape. Peel off a little corner. And let's just put it in here till it's nice fitting. Just stay away just a little tiny fraction away from this hinge right here. 
Now you would think you are nice and sweet. Where is my... thought I had a little... Was it on this side? Oh my gosh. It was on this side. Okay. My little peel off was gone. Alright, and you always can check if you are correctly. So you always can check before you even put it down. I think I'm okay. So I'm just going to push it down and take off. Alright, done. I am going to cut down just a tiny, tiny a little bit. I was telling you that we do not cut a corner, but I changed my mind because we are going to flat this down anyway. So, all right, so that's okay. We are going to put something down here too. Here we go. Finish it down. You can use any tape for that. I now have some painting tape. Painters use that. All right, so put this back. Put some tape on, or if you want to use glue, then you also can use glue, of course, whatever you like. going to fold it back just like that just see if there is anything bumping in the way and if it is then now it's the time to cut that off because we don't want anything that's in the way Just keep searching for that little thing that is in the way. You don't want to see? Now it's gone. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so I can peel it off. Just hold it down just as you can. Ah! Just stuck on my nail. Okay, this can be a little tricky, but with a little help with your fingers, we get there. Yes. Cool. Burnish it down. Yes. All right. So here we have a nice accordion pocket. All right. Now we want to make the lid. Do you want this completely flat? That we make a fold line right here, or do you want to make it a little higher? What's the normal case? I think the normal thing to do is just a little higher. What do you say? Hmm. All right, let's check it out. Check, check, checkpoint. No, it's not checkpoint. <laughs> All right, so what do we want? I think I am gonna make it half inch, something like that. What's a half inch? This is a half inch higher. I'll see if we make it nice and flat, same as it is. What's a normal envelope is? I think a normal envelope is not having. All right, I'm just gonna do a one eight, just a little tiny bit higher. 
okay and then do we want this because we do have a nice fit fat opening do we want this also a little bit tighter oh, i think it is it's one eight or something is nice so we are going to score another score line a one eight i think that's that's enough just a little expandable place. Just a little tiny bit. You can do deeper if you want, but I don't know if it's necessary. So I have just a little tiny, tiny bit. Here we go. Yeah. I think that's enough. All right, now what shape do you want? Well, I think an envelope is nice if you do a nice um, envelope shape. <laughs> is that the correct word? I have no clue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for the middle. Um, it's five and a half inch. My envelope is five and a half inch. So we are going to find the middle. That's right here. Well, you can do whatever you want, of course. I'm just going to make a mark one inch here and one inch here. And then I think I just go, yeah, then I'm just going to follow the lines. Here we go. That's a nice thing to do. Here we go. Now I don't want this, well, or shall we just leave it? Well, normally I do like uh, a little wound one. You can use a wound shape if you have somewhere. Or you can use Yeah, I may be an idiot sometimes, but I do love to use sometimes just a little template for things. So I can round this up. Here we go. Yeah. See, it's just that little wound corner, which I like. All right. Sometimes I also can use that right here. Maybe it's a good idea to cut this with another color. I can see it better. This one is ready. So you also can do that right here if you want. Not necessary, but if you want. little nice shape it looks so much better so if you want if you have your time then just do it make it nice round yes and now I'm just gonna cut around so my pencil mark is just disappearing See how perfect that is? Oh my gosh, love it, love it, just a simple. <laughs> yeah, that looks amazing. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. You can make a... <sighs> increase. I need to find it up. Um, but it would be nice if I then use also the same shape. Let me see if I can recreate that. So what if I make a mark? One inch. 
one inch and how deep not deep just just a little one inch something like that okay just a second I want to know where the middle is yeah 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 yes okay that is my line and then this is my middle so I am gonna do again oh it's hard to, to tell so I'm just gonna put something right here that is my middle let's see if I can I go crazy If I even can cut it out, because I already glue it down. Let's go crazy. I do like it. Let's see. I also want to have a nice corner. This one is perfect. Alright, let's see if I can cut it out without making too much crazy corners. I hope I can cut that wound shape. Taking small bits, 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 bits. Oh. Yes! Then I just can get rid of my pencil marks. Oh my gosh! Look how cool this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a normal envelope, but done expandable. Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, now how to decorate this? Yeah actually the same as we normally do but but okay now this is going to be on the back that one now first I'm gonna do this piece right here okay let's see what can we do with that we can use this and then a little shape here or we can use this and then a little shape right at the bottom what do you think what looks nicer i think this one and then a nice strip at the bottom i think i think well it's black on black guys so oh my gosh hope i can see it all now i'm gonna cut my piece of paper as normal but when i like to use this shape i'm just gonna put this at the back same just so i just don't see it and um i only need where i also keep an eye is these corners that they are also nice here it is all right try to redraw the shape here we go again i am gonna cut off the the pencil mark so I have a little black edge maybe if I am correct all right let's test it out let me first erase my pencil mark Check, check, check it out. You don't see it. Let me put in something. Oh my gosh. Oh. If 
I may say so myself, it's just perfect. All right. Can I put this already on? Hmm. I do need closure. Not necessary, but you know I like that. But I think we can because it's going to be lower. So, yep. I can put glue on. Here we go. Put something inside if you don't see it. I am because I don't see it otherwise that good. Black on black is terrible. I know. But it's so, so beautiful paper. Here we go. Yeah, let's find a piece for the bottom. I think this one really pops up nicely. But first I like to check for the lid. This is not enough, but I can use this and use for here something. <laughs> Yeah, we can do that. Why not? Why not? Where was the back? This is the back. Can I already put it on? I think I can. Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking some for something, but we do have a hinge. Otherwise, I could maybe have another idea, but that's not possible. Alright, put this on the right side. Burnish it down. Yeah, 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 yes. Okay, guys, it's almost weekend. Wondering what we are. Do we have something in plan? Hmm. I guess not that much. My daughter is, by the way, on a little weekend trip. She is in London right now. She was catch the plane this morning. I think we can do this. We can. We can do this. Otherwise, we can find another piece that is fitting. Yes, 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 yes. Let's check, check, check it out. It definitely needs then a tree. Mm. This is not large enough. This one would fit. Yep, nice. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, it does. Let, let's choose for that. Otherwise, it looks maybe a little odd. And I don't like that. I like to use my leftovers, but it does not need to look odd. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to push this just a little lower. Yep. And then I'm gonna use with very concentrated patience. I'm gonna redraw the shape. And then I am gonna Cut it down. I'm just gonna cut down the mark because I don't know exactly if I need to cut this down a little smaller for the to create a black edge, but I'm not sure. So I'm just play for safe, and I'm first going to cut it out this way. 
Oh yeah, see? This is perfect because now I still have a little bit left to cut down a little edge. Right. I'm not going to do that with my fist cars. Just a little shorter so I have a nice black edge. Let's see. Just a little tiny. Let's check it out. Yeah, this is nice. All right, cool. Smooth the edges. Now, before I'm going to put this down, I also like to have a background. So I'm going to use this one in the mirror in the opposite side. Spiel build, I just wanted to say. <laughs> so I need another piece for the back. Well, it's actually not. No, it's not necessary. It's all, it only makes it thicker. So no, I'm not. I'm going to leave the inside black. That's a good idea. All right. So um. Ah, all right, what's next then? Now well, we need... I do like a little closure. And I just want to make a small one. A small... Oh! <laughs> I still have those little round ones. Okay, okay. Let's check it out. I also have these. Oh, this looks nice. But I actually want to have it flat and small. So maybe it's a good idea to... Mm, we also can use a brat. That's also possible. Just, just use a small brat. That's nice too. Wait just a second. I am going to put this one on. There we go. Why I do this? Why, 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 why? Because I don't want to have the boat on the other side. So the boat needs to go in here. Da, 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 da. Okay. Put a little extra paper on. To secure it a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just going to use a little brat for the closure with a nice small thread. Let's see if that is going to be working. Make it not too tight, but it will be once. Check first before I put it on. Oh yeah, see? That is more than enough. That's yep. Not too much, just a small little piece. Yep, cool. Alright, now I can put it on. Oh yes.
we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. This is cool. Okay, now I need to find a nice bottom piece. Which one? Which one do we like? Do we not have a smaller one? This is nice. Oh, it's the same size. That's nice. All right, let me first cut this the same size. Smudge the edges, and now how we are going to attach that string. I think I'm just going to put another board in here. What do you think? I also can let the rope coming under here. And then with a secret brat. That is possible. That is also possible. Otherwise you are going to wrap it around. Not necessarily, but... What shall we do? Well, first of all, we do need some strength. There we go. Yep. Alright, so, um, blah, 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 bum, 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 mm, my brain is thinking, what are we going to do? I do like that it comes under. How to make this nice and strong. <laughs> how we are going to achieve that. Well, you can wrap this around. You can. Can we do that? You also can do this. Wait just a sec. I think. I have no clue. Can we do this? And wrap this around. How strong is this? Well, this can can tear. Paper can tear. It is, it is strong. It's pretty pretty strong. But maybe we also can just use a small board. So I'm going to make a little loop. I'm going to put that under. Testing, testing. I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm going to find a way 
that is working. See, because now this string is nice, strong. That is what we were looking for. And I'm going to attach this. Oh, yes, I am. Here we go. Okay. Fingers crossed, guys. Fingers crossed. No idea what I'm doing. I'm going to attach this. Also with some glue. Yes, 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 yes. Then I'm going to make with something as flat as possible. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was not doing that. I was not doing that. Okay, I think that's pretty flat. All right, so now I'm just gonna put this over. Oh, I'm super excited. Does this work? I have no clue, no clue. We'll see if it, I think it does, but go I'm gonna burn this down nicely so the little brat is nice how is that sound a little brat <laughs> Alright, so the glue is nice and dry, everything is flat, well, not everything is flat, but as flat as possible. See, and now you just can put, and I'm not going to wrap this uh, much around it, just small. Okay, now I do like a small piece on here to have it... Not secure or something you can use. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You can just cut a small piece of paper or something like that. But I do have these small ones. Oh, love it. Love it. And then the back, the back with black. Oh, let's do that. That's nice. How can I cut this down? Oh, let me first cut this one out. Um, I also can cut this with paper. There we go. Yep. Okay, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I'm calling these shorts, but it's totally not short at all. Alright, so I do have two times around this. That is more than enough. So I like this right here. Not too long, definitely not too long. Definitely not longer than right here. See? So I think I'm just gonna put this on. Here we go. And then the 
back. Yes, 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 yes. Let's play a little. This is cute. This is cute. I hope it will stay, but I need to let it dry, of course. Now be gentle with cutting this and don't cut your string. I am so focused, guys. <laughs> I think you all feel my concentration. Yes. Okay, look how cool this is. Okay, okay, okay. Ah. <laughs> I think it's super cool. This little string. Here we go. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. I like it a lot. So nice, tiny, and effective. What do you think? Our little accordion envelope, uh, which you can add everywhere, wherever you want. It's so cool. You can do it this way, this way, this way, even on top if you want, but cool. Yes, I like it. <laughs> See how much fun it is using your scraps. <laughs> You can do anything. You can. You can. You can do everything. Everything you want. Just use your imagination. Just try it out and have fun, guys. Just have fun. All right. Are these short? No, these short. They're just little projects, but not short. Short videos. <laughs> I always have troubles with making short videos. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. But I hope you like this, and I will see you next short video. Bye-bye.